Why, hello. Oh. I can hear myself in my ears, and I don't want to do that. Much better. So I don't know if you have heard of this game only up. I talked about it a little bit on the last stream, but um, I've tried it out a little bit and it's kind of crazy. Um, and I'm I'm going to I'm going to actually play for a little bit today. The only other two times I've played, I just tried it out. I played the first time for like 10 minutes, the next time for 10 or 15. And uh, if you haven't heard of it, basically the concept of this game is well, the name of the game is called is only up and um <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're It's a platformer of sorts, and you're just climbing. You're going up and up and up and up. But the catch is... <laughs> the catch. Going up. Yeah, full. Um, the catch is that um, there are no save points. There are no checkpoints. It's like a one-off thing. It's it's You either do it or you don't. If at any point in the game you fall, um, sometimes you can land back on a lower part of the platform that you already climbed. Other times you literally start all over again and there's nothing you can do about it. So um, I I thought I'd try it. The big downside for me is that it's mouse and keyboard only. And those of you that know me know that I am exclusive uh, controller player. Grew up playing console, never played mouse and keyboard type of games. Um, and so I'm not good with mouse and keyboard at all. The only saving grace here is that like when I try to play, I've tried playing like Warzone on mouse and keyboard. I just can't remember all of the buttons. That's my big thing. Like I can't remember what to press to do what. By the time I figure it out, I'm dead. Like playing Warzone. With this, you're literally just moving and jumping. There's nothing more to it than that. So that that makes things a little bit easier. So um, let's let's try it out and let's see how it goes. Um, there's some like music and dialogue in the game that. I don't know. It, it, it's kind of creepy. Um, oh, that that mouse movement, though, is way too. I thought I turned it down. That's much better. Um, you need the. Oh, you know what? Let me let me check something real quick. Because I tend to get screen tearing when my uh, for some reason, my refresh rate on my monitor changes itself back to 60 when it should be at 180. And we're good. Hopefully that didn't screw anything up with OBS. Everything's working fine, but the screen tearing will now be gone. So, um, yeah, I need to set the sensitivity really low because, um, I mean, it, it, it's going to require sort of precise movement. So this is supposedly like where you start. You, you don't really have to start here. Um, but it's almost like a warm up. So yeah, there's there's random the, the the game's kind of dark. Um the concept as far as I know it is this kid that lives in poverty uh in this sort of uh kind of a fantasy world but based off of real real world. Um I believe this is supposed to be Brazil. Uh I'm from well my family is from Brazil and at some point in the dialogue, uh, it references um, the favela, which is the Portuguese word for ghetto, basically. So there's that music. I'm going to turn that down because. I don't know that that did much, but this is a lot like what it looks like um, in Brazil. Not not. I mean, it's exaggerated just a little bit. Um, mostly because the graphics aren't great, but um, I think it I think it takes place in Brazil. So here's the thing, right? Um, yeah, these sun flares don't help either. Um, when I get around over here, so you can start seeing those pipes there that you're supposed to sort of climb through. 
um, or used to climb over. Is that Claire again? But uh, when I get up here, I'll show you the ridiculousness of it, of where you're going. So you see all that way up there. Hey, Riff. It's crazy. I'm trying it. I'm doing it. I'm playing only up. Yes, yes, I know. So I've gotten through this part before just once. But um, because I've only I've, like I said, I've only played the game twice. And the first time I just got to these pipes, I wandered around a little bit and I fell and then I quit because I just wanted to see what the game was about. Um, the second time I played it, which was might have been yesterday, I only played for a little bit and um, I got past the pipes, but but I don't remember exactly how he did it because it's kind of confusing. It's a bit of a maze. No, come on. Oh. That's one of the annoying things of the game is sometimes you, oh, try to grab and it doesn't grab right and to do it again and you accidentally jump off or whatever, but. So I need to get up there. Question is, how did I get there last time? Uh, I got to get over there. I wonder, I don't know if I can. Maybe I'll YOLO it. Oh! I wasn't even trying to grab onto that. I was trying to land on the spot below. Okay. And now uh, can I... <gasps> Oh. I don't know if I can jump up, turn, and grab onto that or not. Or if I just go he here, freaking A. I want to get onto. No, I pushed, I jumped! Ah. Oh. The uh, first time I played the game, or the first couple times that I've played the game, can I climb this? No. Um, heck am I? First couple times that I played the game, that's basically what happened. Oh, shut up. Is, uh, yeah, I, I swear I hit the jump button and, and it, it doesn't happen, which happens in, in video games all the time. Um, but it just sucks because in this one, when that happens, you have to start all over again. See how long, how much patience I have for this game, honestly. If I get frustrated, I might just play something else or I don't know. We'll see. Riff, have you played this yet? Okay. Will you climb, sir? Young man? You haven't. It's only 10 bucks on Steam. Even less, like I mentioned the other night, I got it on, I think, Green Man Gaming. All right, I'm going to do the same thing I did last time.
Because I need to get I need to get to that swirly part. And I know I've gone in that tube thing before. I don't know if I can get on top of that tube. That big tube thing there that I'm looking at. Um I know I've gone inside it. I don't know if I can get on top of it. But if you get inside, you just get to the other side. There's nothing you can do. So you kind of get trapped. Uh You get frustrated, take a break and play getting over it with Bennett. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. At least with that game, though, there's like it's I've I've only played it a couple times, but um, actually, I think I played it like for the first time when you were around. Um, at least there's like sections, you know what I mean? Like you. You're trying to get up this certain you get past a certain point you don't usually fall back behind it you have to i mean it happens but you you kind of stay within that section in this game you don't if you fall you fall like it's hard to like i did earlier like to actually land back on a tube when you fall I don't like that with keyboard. Um, you can't really, um, like with mouse and keyboard. <gasps> Just want to drop here. There we go. You can't really adjust how fast you walk. You know, you're walking at what, like, I, I'll tap sometimes just to, like, nudge a little bit. But I do like that on controller, I can adjust, you know, and if I don't want to move as fast. This is really annoying. You just move the joystick up a little bit, but with keyboard, it's not like I can just push the key a little bit. I either hold it down or I don't. Okay, this is where I got to last time where I tried to jump and it didn't jump. All right, so I need to climb this thing. There you go. And then up to this. There you go. All right. Okay. This thing's annoying to climb. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. It's my day off and I'm playing a game that gives me anxiety and stresses me out. I was playing uh, when I was playing the last time. Emma was watching me for a little bit and I got to one of those parts where there's that massive sun flare. And and I was just like, oh, man, this sucks. I can't see. And I didn't mean like literally, like, you know, it's just, it's a, like right there, like it's annoying, but you can still see. And she was like, I can see dad, go straight. And she started like giving me directions. It was kind of cute. <laughs> and she thought I like actually meant like I literally couldn't see and I didn't know where to go. Okay. I just realized. My. Uh, desktop feed was muted, so you guys couldn't hear. What was happening in the game? OK. Got through the pipes. Although I could fall right now and then that wouldn't matter. The railroad was opened here 120 years ago. My grandfather worked here. I often went to see him. My grandfather Ding. worked here for 60 years and then he died. 
not using the bed? You can use the bed? What are you supposed to use the bed for? Ding. It shoots you up? No, it doesn't. Does it really? Like you jump on the bed and it shoots you up? So I played, when I played this, and I got past all this last time, um, at one point I fell Dang. but was able to land on the tracks, and then I had to walk all the way up. There's also, I believe at some point you can see the Christ the Redeemer statue, which is in Brazil. Yeah, see, she just she just called it this the, my whole life, or the he. Of my have been. It's like a jump pad. I had no idea. I I think I think he's a boy, but he sounds like a girl. Dang. But maybe it's just like a prepubescent boy. I had no idea. Oh well. Now I know. Riff, have you watched people play the game then? You've seen videos and such? Because you said you haven't tried it, but you knew about the bed. So yeah, I'd gotten past this part, and I fell, but I landed on the tracks. But then I didn't Dang. get to use this little train thing. I had to... I had to walk... all the way up the track. There's some creepy stuff Dang. about the game, too, like right here when I get to this elephant thing. It's weird. It's like discouraging you. What did I do? What did I do? Get out! Get out! Get out! I don't want to fall! I found some sort of a glitch. Oh man. You watched a speed run? Yeah, I heard people can beat this in like 20 minutes or something. Oh gosh, I got out. I think I'm supposed to be on the train. Am I stuck now? Did I, did I break it? See if I can use this. Oh, okay, okay, I'm good, I'm good. Creepy elephant. Okay. Because you could just go around and get onto there, but last time I just turned and jumped off of this, which was fine. But I landed in between, I actually landed in the track and it glitched and I was like sliding instead of moving. Do you remember how long the speed run was that you watched? Like, how long they completed it in? Oh. Ding. Ding. To get to the new one, you first have to make a jump and get off the ground, not knowing what the future holds. Ding. Oh. 
four the speed run was in four hours? No. There's no way. I've heard that speedrunners do it a lot faster than that. Whoa, whoa, I'm going the wrong way. It wasn't serious, as in like it wasn't a serious. Uh, I'm. Oh, mostly exploring the routes. Got it. Well, that's not a speed run. Ding. A speed run is beating the game as fast as you can. Exploring the routes and such isn't a speed run. Okay, this is one part where... Oh, freaking A. And this part... Oh... Uh, I don't like the angle that I'm at either. Ding. Like how you're not directly behind, behind the avatar, but you're, you're like you're angled. That's weird to me. All right. My father worked here as a driller, and he always World record is 28 minutes. See, that makes more sense. I was afraid of him. And so one day he wouldn't come back from work. Here's where I keep. Oh, I've gotten past this just a little bit. I got onto those other platforms, but. This is where I'm going to be a little more careful. See, so yeah, here's, right? Exploring is prep. Like, do I... Do I try to cross these barrels to get over there, or just keep... Oh, I'm like, get me off that pipe. See, but now what? Do I do I attempt to jump across this to get to that pipe? Or do I cross those barrels? What do I do, Clay? Which one? I think I'm gonna go for the YOLO jump right here. Oh! That was so scary. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. That was stressful. And now it's just a straight shot, but I'm still gonna take it easy. Okay, I think this is officially the highest I've gone. up there now so those were all the different routes that led to this some say that soon no one will need oil but it is unlikely to happen sooner than in 20 to 30 years and meanwhile oil is still a resource <gasps> that people kill for oh I really could go without the music and dialogue, honestly. Okay, well, I've gotten the hang of one thing.
freaking A. Am I supposed to try to, like... Okay, that thing over my head... Yeah, when I jump, is gonna push me. I'm so stressed out right now. I'm not gonna try this again. I wasted my money. <laughs> I'm gonna fall, and I'm gonna be so mad. And I'm not gonna wanna start from the friggin' beginning and do all of this again. Just to get to this part again. To see if I can pass it. I feel like video games these days have spoiled me because I grew up playing video games in the 90s and we didn't have save points or anything like that. Like when my brother and I wanted to beat a game, we literally would would play and then get to a certain point and then leave our Nintendo on. Like if we had to go to bed at night, we'd leave our Nintendo on and go to bed and hope that the Nintendo was still working properly in the morning because you're not supposed to leave them on for that long. They overheat and they're so sensitive. One little tap and it's it's done. And then we'd keep playing. And if you died and you lost, you had to start over just like this. But I feel like I'm spoiled now. I don't know what to do. I feel like I need to jump to that over there, but... Look how high I am already. Friggin' A. And it's probably, like, just the beginning. There's so much... Look at all that. See, there's this thing over my head so that if I try to jump, it's gonna... It's gonna, like, not let me jump. Oh, oh, can I get onto it? Ding. Yes, I can. Now, I don't want to go to that, because what's that going to get me? Right? The goal is to make my way up all these random parts and, and get up that way, I think. Oh, man. Okay, let's just drop onto this. Oh, it's so scary. Okay, I've learned that I can jump and then move. Huh. Which goes against like my video game instincts, but is it's safer. Oh crap. Like am am I going to be able to jump on that and and hold? No, the answer is no. Please land somewhere. Please land. No, I jumped again. Ah. <sighs> See if the roof goes to the top of the map. What is that? What does that even mean? Ding. Where am I? I'm on some random rock. How did I get... Oh, I know how I got here, but... Ding. No, not all the way down, but... That was a while ago that you sent that roof message? But... But I'm stuck on this stupid rock. Because I don't think it's actually part of the, like... See how my legs are going through it and stuff? It's not fully designed. Like, it's not part of the... It's not part of the design of the game. Like, it's just, it's just extra, but I'm on it. 
Do I just go from here and try to jump on huh. the track? No, I'm stuck there too. What? Oh, oh. Here we go. I'm already over it. Like, I'm annoyed that I fell. Because <laughs> I didn't even know where to go next. I feel like I'd like the game a lot more if it just told me where to go at all times. I don't want to try to figure it out. That's not why I'm playing this game. You know what I mean? <sighs> like my friend Jared, who beat the game, it took him seven hours. But he beat it. And he said there's even, like, traps and stuff. Like, built into the game. Like, the floor just falls out from under you. Which is really frustrating. He has a he has a TikTok where he, he's really high up in the game and that's what happens. The floor like Ding. falls out from under him. Ding. Those dings are chat messages, by the way. So the floor falls out from under and, and he falls all the way down to the very, very bottom. And you could tell he was really high up. It even took him a while to get all the way down. I don't know if you said something, Riff, or someone else did in the chat. But it's not coming up. I heard the dings. But... Oh man, I still have to do the train and come on. Creepy elephant. Go back to the favelas. Yeah, yeah. Shut up, elephant. Traps are at the top. There are your dings. The game's not very well designed either. Like, it seems like very low budget. So, <laughs> it doesn't help when you're, like, running into random things and climbing the wrong things that aren't really there. I'm just YOLOing it. If I fall again, I'm, I'm, I'm done with this. I don't have the patience for it. I don't. See, because my thing is I'm going to get to that spot where I was just at when I fell and I don't even I don't know where to go next. So what I like, I I take a stab at. At trying something else and and that doesn't work either and I have to start all over like it's one thing to to try a couple times on a certain spot. But like you're you fall a little bit and you climb right back up. It's a whole other thing to fall and then spend 10 minutes climbing back up to where you were just to try again not knowing if you're actually going to accomplish anything that time I also the other day when I tried it I I put on my VR goggles I was playing yeah. it using my Oculus um And I just, I thought it might be like more exciting or scary or whatever. And it wasn't. I was just playing it on a giant screen. And these, these jumps, why? Why are you making these so far away where I barely reach like that? That's just so much anxiety. Ah. Bouncing off stuff.
I'm just going for it. If I fall, I fall. Woo! <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I don't know why it's taking so long to, to send your chat messages through, Clay. No! I know you I know you messaged me but No, oh, there you are. It's about climbing up when you fall and the rise out of poverty. Right. And I went this way. Cross this. And so here's where I got to these things. And I didn't know where to go next. I did this and this. And then up this. And, and I can go that way, I guess, but I went up onto that and across. Oh, I mean, that's the same thing, but I got stuck over there. I, I don't, I just don't, I don't know where to go. Ding. Ding. Where, what do I do, Clay? Do you know? Ding. I don't mind you telling me. Ding. Ding. Oh, there's another bed. Are you messaging me right now and they're not coming through? There we go. That too, it's still a rage game. Ding. <laughs> Ding. You got it. Ding. You, oh, thanks, Disney. Very helpful. Appreciate it. Ding. So I, I got to this part. And then I don't know what to do next. Huh. Have you seen this before, Disney? Look at this. You're supposed to climb all that. And you get one, like, not one try, but if you fall, you start at the very beginning again. And look how far I've climbed up already. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. See, I get to this point, now I don't know what to do. And I tried jumping onto that archway thing, and I fell. And what is that? Can I climb that? No. Ding. <sighs> I don't know what to do next. Disney, you're having fun with the uh, AI, <laughs> the AI art in the chat. And that's what it's there for. So enjoy. It's funny, I was going through all the different things you were trying to create. I, I really like, I'm at a loss. I don't know what to do. The closest thing is that, that arch thing right there. And I tried that and I didn't reach it and I fell. And I don't know where else to go. Ding. And then I'm I'm gonna fall. Land, land, come on.
Am I going the right way? Probably not. Am I on the right? I don't know. I'm done. I'm gonna go play something I can actually win. This sucks. Clay, go watch go watch a speed run and tell me what to do at that point. I'm not sure I went the right way either. It's not easy to... to <laughs> I tried it too. It's not easy to, to tell it what to... To tell AI what to make. It's... Yeah. I mean, I... I have a friend, Chris, who's really good at it, and he, he randomly posts stuff on social media that he's had AI art um, create, and that's pretty cool. Um, you, I mean, you have to be very specific about what you want, and I know there are, you can, like, Google it. There's, like, certain words um, or phrases that, you know, terms that you can use that help it understand and create things a certain way, like the hyper-realistic one that you've been describe that you've been using like that was one that I, I looked up and saw if you tell it to make something hyper realistic it just gives it a, a specific look okay third time's a charm let's get back to that spot well not specifically that spot let's get to that area and see if I can if I make it there hmm <sighs> And see if um, I was just supposed to go in a completely different direction than those floating things. Maybe I wasn't supposed to go up there at all. Is that what you're saying, Disney? Was jumping and moving too much. My palm is getting all sweaty from the mouse. Doesn't that happen when I play controller? Wait a second. I can click the mouse and move slower? I didn't know that. I realized I've been playing this whole time and not once have I clicked the mouse. And I just clicked it just to see what it would do. And it makes him move slower. It makes him walk. You, you change from walk to run. Whoa! And I can go in super slow-mo. So I can just hold this down while I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna have him walk across this. Well, that's a game changer. I was complaining earlier about how, like, one of the things I didn't like about it being mouse and keyboard is that you can't control how fast you're moving. You can't climb, right? Like, ladders. Okay, so I feel pretty solid about, like I got over to that part and then I climbed up that thing and got up there. 
Or no, I was halfway up there, and that's where I got stuck. And I've been getting across this like this. Which is very scary. And we'll walk across this. No, I pushed jump! Oh, come on! I swear I jumped. Man! Alright, well, this isn't too far back. Right? I was just here. hate that part. I hate that part with a passion. And this part. Oh, jeez. Gives me anxiety every time. Like, my heart rate spikes. My chat just disappeared from OBS. And it's coming back? I don't know. Right now it's a very bright white screen. There it goes. Oh. Ooh, bed. So supposedly Clay said... Oh! 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 Okay. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Oh, jeez. This, this sucks. This sucks. That was awful. That would be so terrifying in real life. Is that what I'm supposed to do? That might be what I'm supposed to do. I came across a bed earlier and I just, I ignored it and ran right past it. And Clay told me that it's a launch point, like a launch pad. He was not wrong. I always feel like I'm going to jump too far there. Man, I got to do those two really long jumps that I don't like. Here's the first one. I almost like jumped in the wrong direction too. There's the next one. Oh. We will walk, not run, across this pipe. Even then, I might still fall. Okay. Ah. 
Back to the bed. Uh, it actually sounds really nice. Back to bed. So I boingy all the way up these, like the craziest ladder on the planet. Oh, it's so, it's so weird. Like, the, the way you move. Now what? Can I land on this? Why? Why couldn't I land there? Grab! Oh my goodness, this is not where I want to be. Oh, of course he falls again, and I'm done. Nope, nope. Goodbye, world. That's me jumping off on purpose. Because I, I did the beds. Nope. I did the beds. I did all the beds and then there was nowhere left to jump. I, I'll try again another day. For now, I'm going to play something else because no. I don't know what to play. Not... <laughs> It's so frustrating. I don't know how Jared sat there and did that for seven hours. Sometimes, sometimes falling all the way back to the bottom. That's insane. That's crazy. I'm turning on, on Rocket League, something that I can control a little bit more. I'm just gonna play this for a little bit, enjoy it, and and then be done. <laughs> oh man, where am I going? Let's play some competitive Rocket League. What am I at now? I am bronze. Is that my? My rank? Mm. You don't know because you guys can't see the screen. To change my game capture. Man. Teammate is garbage. Is that my team? No, mine is Dav Jaff. Teammate, what's the point of doing that pass if you know that I'm right there next to you? Like he makes that pass toward the center, but he knows that I'm right there next to him. Why, why do that? I straight up stole that from my teammate. I had a better shot than he did, so. I have a 
ball hog teammate. Has no sense of teamwork. teammate. I'm just going to hang out in the goal. That's what I'm going to do because my teammate's going to keep getting in the way. So I'm just going to keep hanging out in the goal and then create opportunities for myself like this. teammate so close teammate was trying to go for that again when he knew I was in the goal and would get it yeah I slowed him down teammate Should have known. That was a good shot.
Okay, I need a better teammate. Bozuki Senpai. Take the shot. Or not. Teammate? All the way up, gave him a great pass, and he scored the goal. That's good. We didn't start great, so. Nice shot, teammate. Real simple. That was great. Look at this pass. Other team's probably gonna forfeit. when you get a good teammate.
You can see almost right off the bat what kind of teammate you're going to get. Go teammate. Good block. Uh, he set me up for that pretty easily. I said I got it, teammate. I don't like when te teammates do that. Like, they just either don't communicate or don't listen to the communications because they're so important in this game. any boost teammate because you took them both there you go you made the shot though Too high. My teammate keeps doing these aerials and not hitting the ball or doing anything with it. I ended up leaving a wide open net.
teammate just watched that happen. He's being chased by the ball. Okay. Teammate. That should have been a pretty easy goal right there. I was playing it and then I got frustrated, Addy, because the game's a huge pain. And now I'm playing car soccer. Dang. What do you mean already? I played it for an hour. An hour is a long time to be frustrated. Dang. Dang. Set. There you go, teammate. we go Addy I can't man I got so frustrated I got so frustrated I'll try it again you want me to try it again I'll try it again, just for you. But what, 
Addy, one of the things is it's mouse and keyboard only. And and you know I can't do mouse and keyboard. I, I, I don't I don't rage. You know that I'm very calm and collected. Oh, I gotta change the settings. Ding. Settings, mouse sensitivity, like all the way down. Game volume is annoying. It's down. Oh, don't look up. We need to get to the top. I'm sure we'll make it. I wonder what awaits us there? The unknown is frightening. Okay, here I go, Addy. Oh, 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 uh, we're gonna pause the stream for a second. My wife is calling me. Okay, I'm back. She uh definitely texted me something so, or called me told me something steps begins with that she could have texted me. She busted an Addis Addison. Your mom would have been very upset with that phone call, Addison. No, I mean I wasn't upset, but she very definitely could have just called me or texted me. Does it mean to be an adult? Just a pig about to fall off the edge there? That's weird. This game's weird. Hey, Addy, I'm doing this for you. You better be watching. Is there, can I go up this way? Is that helpful? No, am I am I stuck now? I don't know. That works. Sometimes it's hard to choose the right path, but don't be afraid. You can always repeat and learn from our mistakes. Okay, we are at the pipes. And uh, we've done this a couple times. I'm going to walk up this thing because... I will not be happy if I fall off of this. I want to save! I want to reach a save point so that if I fall right now, 
could just start from the pipes. There is something strange. Is that too much to ask? Though there has always been something wrong with it. What everyone clung to, the stability, has been shaken. Maybe this is a chance for me. Why didn't you grab on, person? Okay, so apparently these are... It doesn't launch very high. I'd rather walk. Yeah, that wasn't even, like, worth it, Clay. The railroad was opened here 120 years ago. My grandfather worked here. I often went to see him. My grandfather worked here for 60 years, and then he died. Jump up onto the floating luggage. So, Addy, I got to a point where I didn't know what to do next. And then I, I think I figured it out. And, and it's difficult. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. And so, you like that, that bed that I was just springing off? You have to do that, like, on four different beds. Like, one after jump up onto another and onto the other. And I did that, and then, um, if you want to go quickly, go with friends. If you want to go I fast, tried it twice. Friends. When I did it the first time, I I just, like, I missed the last bed type of thing or whatever, and then I fell, and I had to climb back up. And then um, the second time that I did it, I hit all four beds, but then I didn't, like, I didn't know where to land. Like, after that fourth bed, I didn't know where to go. There was There's not a fifth bed that I know of. Um, if there is, they didn't make it obvious. So I just, I didn't know where to go. And that's where I kind of gave up, because I fell pretty far down. This is where everyone lives in poverty, which is hard to get out of. This is where my whole life and the lives of my goddamn parents have been. This person is very angry with his parents. Um, and that's when I just kind of gave up because I didn't want to have to deal with climbing everything all over again because I, I fell down further than where I am now. Can't download some... I don't know. Can you Google that for me? See if there's a way to play only up on controller, because that'd be great. This little train ride's nice and all, until you fall down past it, and then you have to walk up these train tracks. This game could have been really pretty if it weren't so low budget. Random elephant. That says mean things to me. Ding. Ding. There isn't? Yeah, that's what I figured. To get to the new one, you first have to make a jump and get off the ground, not knowing what the future holds. Yeah, like this this feel it feels like graphics wise it feels like an old game. Like it feels like a 
PS2, PS2, PS3 game in certain aspects. Certain things are still pretty high quality. It's the details that, or like I feel like, um, it's a high res game where I lowered the the graphics on it or something, you know, like the detail, which I I didn't. It's it's set to epic, I think across all settings. I hate this part, I hate this part. <gasps> Ugh. Hate this part too. <gasps> oh. My butthole puckers so hard every time I make those jumps. Like it, it, I was going to say it goes inside out, but it's kind of already inside, huh? Like I, I pucker so hard on those. My father worked here as a driller and he always smelled of fuel oil. Like this doesn't bother me walking across the, the, the pipes with nothing underneath. Like it doesn't give me anxiety or anything. Like it's fine. It's the jumping. I don't know why. Alright, so here's the part. So here are these beds. See, there's one, two, three, four. And then I don't know where to go after that. And I can't save my game so that I could start here again. See, there's this bed. And then this one. Oh, and it's really hard to land on them. And then this one. And then over here? Is that it? Did I did it? I don't know. Because I don't know where to go next. But this is the furthest I've been. Do I get on that, that pole? Can I get up there? If I yeah. get on this pole? If I don't, I fall to my death. Ding. I hear the dings. Just not getting the messages yet, whoever that is. <gasps> I just needed you here. You right, you right. Oh. Frickin' A. Save game. Oh. Take a breath. Relax for a little bit. Oh, man. Dragon A. This game is so stressful. Why am I doing this on my day off? I just want to, like, fight bad guys and stuff. I don't want to... Climb and fall to my death. Not even to my death. I wish I was falling to my death. Just fall and start all over again. Low key, this game reminds me of Portal. Like not not the not the mechanics. It's just like the the vibe, I guess. All the random floating stuff is so weird. <sighs> but 
birth, kindergarten, school, army, institute, factory, death. Hello, kinfolk. Am I jumping across to that? Huh. We're doing this in slow-mo. Oh. Oh, if I do this slow-mo stuff, I can control where I'm landing. I could have done that for the beds. If you left-click, you walk. If you right click, you go into that slow mo. Dude, what is this? Why? Why is there just an RV here? Where? Do I climb the RV? We've already established that I can't use ladders. There we go. Oh man. It just looks cool, too. I'm not going to make it. I didn't make the jump. Now, where am I? I got to go back to the beds, I think. So that's fun. The beds are all the way over there, though. I'm past the beds. And we've established that going up that way doesn't help. I can't get up there without the beds, I don't think. So I think I need to go back to the beds. Wait, I can't. Cuz I got to get over there. How do I how can I get over there? No. No, no. Oh, balls. This sucks. So do I have to drop down lower so that I can get Because I can drop down to that. And I guess that's that's kind of what I have to do. Huh! <gasps> Some say that soon no one will need oil, but it is unlikely to happen sooner than in 20 to 30 years. And meanwhile, oil is still a resource that people kill for. Hmm. still walking so Addy if you're even still watching this is why this game is annoying back down to the train tracks oh it I mean it is exciting when you you know get past that part that you're struggling with or whatever <sighs> Ding.
There you go. You're you're having a great time watching me. Watching me get frustrated. <laughs> you suck. Uh, all right, this is gonna be like my last try because I gotta I gotta cut the stream after this. Gotta go pick Emma up from school soon. Okay, but at least now I realize I can use the super slow-mo to control my jumps on the beds instead of just doing it at full time. <gasps> oh, I made it. I made it. I love that. Just the fact that you're able to do that is kind of cool. The the slow mo feature. It looks cool. Alright, so now let's try this with that super slow-mo feature. Let's angle right here. That's so much easier, honestly. I mean, I still might fail it, but... But trying to control yourself at full time to... to land these. Right, where's the next one? Where's the next one? There it is. And then... Isn't there another bed? No? I'm gonna... No! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say, I thought I was gonna hit my head and fall back down. Oh. Freaking game. Yay. Okay, I did this. Okay, I almost fell through those holes. That sound is really annoying. onto this platform up here across this onto this onto the other one onto the rock it's gonna say weird things no 
thought the dialogue would have triggered automatically. And ooh, ooh, I see a bed. Is that, do I reach that? What do you think? Do I go for it? <gasps> I fell off of it. Oh my gosh. I keep falling off of it. Okay. No! Why didn't you jump? Why didn't you... I'm gonna go over here and land on the beds. Can I make it? Can I make it onto here? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, grab a ledge. Grab that ledge. Grab that ledge. No! <laughs> and I'm done. I'm done. This was fun. Thanks for watching. I Dang. am Audi 500. I'm so far back now. I have to do this. I'd have to do this all over again. <sighs> you understand why I stopped now, Addy? What time is it? 3.52? That was so annoying! He kept falling back off the bed. Just get on the friggin' bed. Comes a long jump. I'm YOLOing this part. So if I don't make it, I don't make it because I got to go anyway. I don't know why OBS is so bad at retrieving my... There you go. My messages. You say you're sad now? You're sad right now? Why are you sad? Because I fell? Ding. <laughs> it's annoying. I have to click out of I have to click out of the game and onto OBS for me to see the chat. It keeps um like not that it doesn't freeze, but it doesn't refresh if I'm not clicked onto OBS. Oh, okay, back to the beds. Oh, I've got so much momentum in that direction. Okay. Next bed. Oh, geez. Am I going to make it? Yeah, I think if anything, I'll grab on. Yep. Okay, and then up onto the thing. That was kind of cool that I grabbed onto the... Yeah. Grab onto the plant instead of having to go down there.
Crazy thing too is, since I haven't seen like a playthrough of this game, I have no idea how far into it I am, even getting to this RV that I'm getting to. There's no progress bar, anything like that, so I don't know, am I 5% of the way done? Am I 15, 20? I have no idea. Uh, it sounds like uh, Rifttop was saying earlier that the world record for the fastest speed run is like 27 minutes or something. Oh, I ignored the bed, didn't I? There was the bed, which screwed me over last time. See, this is fine. I, I can land that just fine. Um, so, you know, I'm, I mean, I've obviously, I've, I've had to retry a couple times, but... I feel like I've gotten a good amount into it. Look at all those balloons. Is that the house from up? What is it doing here? Okay. Is this where is this where I failed? I think it is. Okay. I made it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is new. I decided going in here is the best course of action. I very well could be wrong. I. Okay, I don't know what to do next. Um, let's go around the side. Um. Up, up, up and over, maybe? Oh, okay. I really thought that would work. Why didn't that work? I can't get onto the roof. All the places that I can climb, I can't climb onto that roof. That seems really easy to get to. Alright, maybe I'm not supposed to go that way. Do I just No, I can't I can't even get in there. Okay. Got onto the roof. It did. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to be on here. The game's tripping a little bit. Uh, but I clearly need to get over there, though. The question is how? Am I supposed to be down there? Oh, I'm going to regret doing this. Oh. isn't creepy. Well, now what? He won't jump over the fence. Is it, is it just, is it, okay, oh, oh, hi, up house.
Oh, okay. Um, crap. All right. Those platforms lead to that. And then there's a windmill. But then that's it for all I know. This is the more obvious way up. Which isn't always a good thing. In my experience. Okay, now what? This is clearly not the right direction. So where am I supposed to go? I can jump onto that, but but then what? It's a strange feeling. I've never been this far away from home. Yeah, okay, good for you. Um I guess it is it is that way over there. Oh, man. All right, well. <gasps> Can't walk on that. Okay. I said that. Funny. Can't walk on that. Can you go inside? No. All right. This is probably where we lose and fall again. Oh, what is that? Okay. Y'all, I figured out what to do next. It's the up house. Hi, windmill. Please don't hurt me. Is it? Wait, what? It just took me backwards. Was I supposed to jump onto something? No! You suck! Come on! Well, that's nice. That was real great. Get on that giant drone. And apparently, if I, if I am supposed to take the drone, I'm supposed to get off of it somewhere? Like, jump off the drone and onto a platform that... I missed. All right, how did I do this before? Over here. We got onto the. <clears throat> we got onto the subway. Here we go. Over here, and I. This way. Huh. And then up this thing. There's the up house. Okay, and then I got to that. And then it flew me, but was I supposed to jump off somewhere? I wonder if I can... If I should get on it. And then trigger slow-mo. Huh. <gasps> 
I wasn't expecting to to keep running there. Oh. Or is this a trap? Like, is there somewhere I can jump off of this onto? I don't even know what my goal is. What, where am I going next? Oh! Oh! That was it! That was it. That was it. And I, I jumped like an idiot. I should have just stayed on and reset. Now instead, I have to try to get to the train to go back up. So I think I'm done. But, but now I know what to do, kind of. Okay, I'm done. Well, that was fun. Even the uh, annoying falling. But there you go, Addy. There's only up. I tried. And uh, that's all I got. I got to go because I got to go pick up Emma from from school in a bit. But uh, Rifttop, thanks for, for hanging out. Disney, thanks for hopping in for a little bit as well. And uh, Addy, thanks for watching. I need to try it. Dang. You do need to try it. Um, you would rage so hard. <laughs> we should just have like, we should all, um, like not all play it, but, um, we should take turns playing it and then doing like little watch parties to watch each other play it. I feel like that'd be entertaining. Like if me, Zila, Mike Sell, we just got on discord and you were playing, we're just watching you play. That'd be fun. Um, we should try that, but yeah. All right. I'm out. This was fun. Uh, oh yeah, Addy, you're off today, huh? You said you're off on Mondays. We could have uh, we could have played something together. Missed opportunity. We got to remember that for next time. But yeah. All right. See you, Addy. See you, Disney. See you, Rifttop. Thank you guys for hanging out. Um, we're trying to get the band back together uh, for Friday night for a uh, stream with uh, with the whole CGN crew. Um, if you guys want to come back for that, see you later.